Have you ever felt dizzy after eating a huge meal? Is the dizziness linked to a sudden onset of hypertension? Is there a way for us to prevent dizziness after a meal? What are the actual impacts of eating a lot of fatty foods to our body? Hello, science fans! My name is Chona, and I'm your resident Filipina scientist. Join us in this episode where we look at the science behind getting dizzy after eating a large meal. Many people experience dizziness before a meal. Low blood sugar can make a person feel lightheaded or exhausted, especially if it's been a long time since the person ate a meal. Dizziness after eating is less common. Or is it? Blood sugar usually rises after a meal. And it is this rise in blood sugar that makes people who felt dizzy before eating feel better after they've finished their meals. Oh yeah! But when blood sugar drops following a meal and causes dizziness after eating, doctors call it reactive hypoglycemia. People with diabetes or pre-diabetes may experience sudden drops in blood sugar after a meal because their body can overreact and overproduce insulin. But people without diabetes can get this type of hypoglycemia too. For example, if our body digests food too quickly, we might find it a lot harder to absorb glucose from them. There are also rare deficiencies of certain digestive enzymes that can lower blood sugar levels after eating. Eating smaller, more frequent meals with lower sugar content may also help people who experience dizziness after eating because of low blood sugar. But did you know that a person's blood pressure can suddenly drop after eating? What? Doctors call this postprandial hypotension. People with high blood pressure are more likely to develop this symptom because high blood pressure can cause hardening and blockages in the arteries. These blockages in our blood vessels can make it harder for blood to flow up to our brain when our blood is flowing down to our digestive system as well. And reduced blood flow to the brain can lead to dizziness. In cases like this, treatment of high blood pressure can help. Drinking more water before meals and eating frequently but in smaller portions can be of great help also. And then there's also the fact that most people sit to eat a meal and then stand shortly afterwards. And some people experience a sudden drop in blood pressure whenever they stand abruptly. When this happens, the problem is not the meal itself, but the sudden shift from a sitting to a standing position. Orthostatic hypotension is the medical term for when a person gets dizzy because of a reduced blood pressure when he or she suddenly shifts from a sitting to a standing position. But it is more commonly known as head rush. And lastly, there is a chance that you might also be experiencing gastric vertigo. It happens when your stomach acids move up your esophagus. And this is the tube that connects your stomach to your mouth. Occasionally, stomach acid reaches the tubes leading to the inner ear. And this may irritate the inner ear and cause dizziness in some people. And so, science has spoken. Eating a heavy fatty meal can trigger dizziness. But not necessarily because of a sudden onset of hypertension. It could in fact be the other way around. The hypertension is the one leading to the dizziness after a big meal. And other causes can range from overproduction of insulin, inability to absorb nutrients because of rapid digestion, orthostatic hypotension, which is a sudden drop in blood pressure when you shift from a sitting to a standing position, and also gastric vertigo, most of which have nothing to do with what we just ate. But this doesn't mean that we can't just keep on eating a lot of fatty foods all the time. Fat is far more difficult to digest compared to carbohydrates and proteins, and so eating a lot of it frequently can stress out our digestive system. 
too much fatty foods could also harm the friendly bacteria in our digestive tracts that help us digest food. And most importantly, overeating and consuming a lot of fatty foods can increase our chances of getting cardiovascular disease. But what do you think? Do you have other verified reasons as to why we get busy after a big meal? Do you have special techniques on how to avoid this? Please share your thoughts and ideas in the comment section below. And for a daily dose of science goodness, please follow our social media channels and visit our website also. Thank you very much for joining us in this dizzying episode. And I hope to see you around.